Hello everyone, welcome to Josh's Boxes. Today's going to be a little bit of a different video because I recently just completed uh, a little challenge um, where I drew every day for 30 days. Um, this was inspired by PewDiePie's video where he drew every day for 30 days. And I've got a little bit of a story with it, so I'll just get right into it. So this is my sketchbook. Um, I've got a whole bunch of them. And I have a lot of um original characters and stories that i want to tell and i've always been really interested in drawing i've drawn ever since i was a little kid but i've always felt like i was pretty bad um but i follow this youtuber really great youtuber named jp kubert and he says um you can draw any sort of person if you can like construct the shapes and here's kind of like a, a mock-up of that and I wanted to draw all these like character ideas that I have. Um, this is like an attempt over here um, to draw a character idea that I had um, for like a survivor kind of dude in the world of Raised, if you've seen my other videos. Um, and so I started drawing with the attempt to like, oh, I'm going to find my style and like draw these guys as good as I can. So I was like doodling a little bit, following JP's format where like you do a box body and then little boxes for um, arms and legs. And then I tried it on like a person that I thought would have more like realistic proportions. And I didn't really like either of these. And I tried doing it like in this style, um, which I'll come back to later, but it kind of inspired by this game I used to play on my phone called Honorbound. Um, and I think some of it turned out okay. Like, I think that the arms and his grip is actually pretty good. And the head shape is interesting. But <laughs> the feet stink. Like, these are bad. <laughs> and I was like, well, let me just try drawing figures. And so, um, like, I think this one is okay. Um, but, like, I tried drawing girls and bleh, it looks really bad. So <laughs> and I was getting frustrated. So I drew this, this drawing, choking this other drawing. Because it's a representation of my mind. Anyways... All of these don't look very good. I'm not very happy with any of them. And I was like, no, I'm just going to like um, stop being negative and just like see what I can do. And so X-Men 97 is really big right now. And I loved that show as a kid. And so I drew some X-Men um, in that kind of style. And they're not good. <laughs> I don't like any of them. Um, and... They're just not good. The proportions are weird. The like hands look really dorky. Um, and stuff. And I was like, I need to go to like the fundamentals. And so the day after I drew these, I wasn't even trying on this. So I know that that looks bad. But like I was, I was mostly trying on like the Wolverine and the Cyclops and stuff. And I just wasn't happy with how they, how they look. They just look like cartoony in not like a good way. Like just a very not good drawing <laughs> and so I drew this guy the next day and it like broke my mind like I looked at this guy and just got so sad because it's just like so crappy like this is just a, such a bad drawing and I was really sad for like three days and I didn't want to do any drawing ever again basically <laughs> But I watched JP's, or not JP, sorry, PewDiePie's video where he drew every day for 30 days. And he started out, like, not great and ended, like, pretty good. And then I watched his 100-day drawing video. And by the end, like, Homeboy draws really well. So that, like, kind of reinvigorated me. And I'm like, okay, I'll try this, this challenge. I'll try drawing every day. So I've drawn every day for the last, like, 32 days. And I want to just kind of show off what I, what I was doing. So I started off... Um, drawing characters from that Honorbound game that I mentioned earlier. Um, and this, <laughs> unironically, is like one of my best drawings I've made this whole time. It was literally on day two. <laughs> so that stinks. But yeah, I was just kind of copying their style. And then I, I liked how it turned out. I was like, hey, that actually doesn't look like a piece of garbage. And so I like outlined it and, and colored it in. And I didn't have a job at the time. So I just had all this free time to draw and ink these guys in. And yeah, I think Shadow Knight's one of my best. Um, and then I drew like this Viking guy. I drew this dog in the Warhammer style, Warhound, and I th I think it turned out really well. Like I'm really happy with the head, especially. Um, and then just like more people, like a bear, 
I think the bear turned out pretty good. More people. I tried running a girl for the first time. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And then these are all from Honorbound. And then I tried drawing, like, a character in that Honorbound style with no reference. So I drew Superman just because I knew what he looked like. And it's okay. Like, the must... I don't know. The proportions are a little off, and his head doesn't look great. And the hands are a little junky. Um, and I tried drawing this this white dog with what I remembered. Um, drawing the wolf-like, and I didn't do a great job. Um, but this was no reference. This was just literally what I remembered. So I think, like, already there's a little bit of improvement there. And then I did this drawing challenge with my sister, so I drew this. Which I think looks pretty okay, actually. Um, she would send me pictures, and I would draw them with her. And so... Here's some more of those. She drew me. She sent me like this anime girl and this guy in a leotard and this little kid in a bucket that ended up looking like an old man. And this was just you know fun, kind of goofing around. Some more honor bound characters. This guy I think turned out really well. I really like how his like proportions and he just looks like really clean uh, and stuff. So I think this guy is definitely one of my favorites that I've drawn. Honor bound characters again. Trying to draw girls and it's just so. I don't know, the rest of the proportions are okay, but, like, boobs are hard to draw. Like, I just feel so weird drawing these. <laughs> um, and so I tried to make it, like, more subtle with this drawing and draw a little bigger, and they're okay. They're fine. Um, and then I tried, this was no reference, drawing Batman um, in that honor bound style. And I think this turned out really well, actually. Like, I'm pretty happy with this. This looks a lot better than the Superman that I drew with no reference. <laughs> So I'm, I am actually really pleased, and I, I like how, like, this trunk came out. I think it turned out, like, you can kind of get that, like, elephant, but also made of stone vibe for this character. So I think these two I was pretty happy with, and I was like, well, I want to move on to a new style. Oh, so I tried drawing Ben 10, because I really like that show, and I think without the head, like, hey, this is pretty good. Like, especially his pants, I think I did a good job, but, nah. Ooh, that head hurts me to look at. It makes <laughs> Like, this almost broke me again. Like, it was just bad. And I drew Ben 10, like, older the next day. And again, like, without the head, I think this is pretty good. His hands are a little weird. But, I don't know. It's just something about the head just is not right. And so that made me sad. And I drew, like, the original Wolverine um, from that old show. And um, I think the, like, drawing turned out pretty well, actually. Um, I got all his musculature. His hands look really janky. Uh, but, like, I kind of mess it up with the <laughs> with the coloring in. Like, you can see I smudged it here and over here and stuff. So, I don't know. This one, I don't know how I feel about Because, like, I think it turned out pretty close to the picture. But it's not really a style that I like in the first place. So, I don't know how I feel about this one. And I was like, I need to practice. Because I drew this guy's hands so jankily. Because I was like, I need to practice hands. And hands are really freaking hard. <laughs> I drew all these different, I like went on Google Images and typed in all this stuff and couldn't really find anything really good, but I tried to follow them as best I could, and I think most of these are garbage, like this is bad, this is awful, I think this one's definitely the worst one, but this one's bad, most of these are just like not very good, this one I think turned out okay, this one's pretty okay, and this one turned out okay as well, but all the rest of these are just kind of like the proportions are weird, and this one I tried to do like a cartoony style and I didn't really like it. So I was like, that's enough practice. <laughs> so I really like the 2003 um, old Clone Wars. So I drew some guys from that. And I think it turned out okay. Um, but um, again, like the hands are kind of weird and <sighs> stuff. But it's okay. It's fine. Um, and then I was like, let me switch my style up to like an Adventure Quest world style. A little bit more like realistic body proportions than, you know, like these shadow or honor bound guys like I wanted a little bit more so Adventure Quest Worlds was this game I played all the time it's like Flash MMO and I drew this guy and I think he's like my one of my best drawings in this whole thing as well I really like how he turned out with the proportions and stuff um, and this girl is fine it's probably the best girl that I've drawn um, and then I was just kind of doodling in church but <laughs> so yeah I really like like the proportions and I was like okay this is a style that I can go on and so um, I drew some more characters from Adventure Quest Worlds. <sighs> this girl just turned out janky. Like her head is weird. And I think the proportions are weird. And ah, oh, the, the chest is just so hard. It's just so hard. Um, but this guy, he's okay. I don't know. I didn't get the same 
There's just like something about the proportions of this guy that I really like that I just didn't capture with this guy. Um, and then I got a job and so I didn't have time to color the ink them and, and color them anymore. Um, but these are the, the drawings and they're fine. Again, girl, hard to draw. Um, and this guy, I don't know, I just don't like his head and his proportions are kind of off. Um, and this guy, like, I think he looks cool, but just something about like his hands and it's just not... I don't know. It's fine. This one's okay. Like, I'm not going to get mad at myself for that one. Then I drew Princess Leia because my wife and I were playing Lego Star Wars. And so I got inspired and drew Princess Leia. And I think this one turned out okay. Um, again, the chest is weird and hard. It kind of looks like she's like slanted this way because of how I drew it. But I think the face turned out really good. This is one of the best faces I've drawn. And the hands are fine. They're okay. And But like the proportions are pretty good. I think this one turned out okay. And then I drew Darth Vader, and he turned out pretty solid, I think. Again, his hands are weird. And I drew, like, a Ewok and a Jawan. I think they turned out okay. These are, like, pretty good. Like, they're fine. Um, like, I'm not... Like, I don't hate them. Like, I do most of my other drawings. And I drew a Tusken Raider, and I think I tried to add too much detail to his head, and, like, his body's kind of boring, and so... I don't think that one turned out great. And then I was like, oh! Kind of a more realistic style... Um, I really loved the Justice League Unlimited cartoon when I was a kid. So I drew Superman in that style. And I think this one turned out pretty good. Like I tried doing the shading and the shading makes it look pretty good. And I think overall the proportions are pretty good. Like you can look at that and be like, oh, that's Superman. So I'm I'm happy with this. Um, and then this was just another challenge that I did with my sister. So she made me do a Roblox chicken nugget. And then my wife sent me this, whatever that is. <laughs> so I drew it. Oh, this one causes me pain. I tried to draw two of the girls from the Justice League, Black Canary and Wonder Woman, and I don't know. There's just like, like, I think the legs turned out pretty good, actually. Like, I think I got the proportions really good with the legs, but like, there's just something so weird about this arm. I don't know what it is, but it looks like she's like, like pushing it forward. I don't know. The arms are weird on this one and the faces I'm not super happy with or the hair. The Black Canary, I just... It's the same thing where, like, yeah, that's totally uneven, but, like, the, the boobs are hard to draw, and I don't know, there's just something that, like, I don't like it. <laughs> but, yeah, I think I did do a good job with the proportions on the legs. Um, so I was like, I need to do arm practice, because I got this arm all janky, so I was like, I'll practice some arms. Um, and I think, like, most of these are not super great, but the tutorial I followed was pretty, like, helpful, I think. It helped me, like node kind of stagger the arms rather than make them like equal tubes so i think like this one especially is like a really good arm drawing and this one's pretty good for like a muscular guy i think this is the best one um and i tried drawing like big muscular arms and skinny arms and i drew kingpin because we watched in <laughs> into the spider verse <laughs> but yeah so like practicing arms i think this is the only one that turned out the one that i'm like happy with but these are like okay and then i tried drawing <laughs> avatar faces and Aang turned out fine. Zuko looks like garbage. He's so bad. And then Katara, I think I did a pretty good job on. But ugh, that Zuko makes me cringe so hard. And then this is the day that I hit 30 days. And so to kind of mark my progress, um, I compared like my original Wolverine drawing and tried to recreate it using all the stuff that I've learned. So I think, honestly, there is, like, an improvement. Like, the arms look way better and more realistic, and the body proportions are better, and, like, these legs are more realistic and stuff. But I think I made, like, his... the chest to leg to head proportions weird. So he looks kind of, like, weird, like, height-wise, and his face just looks kind of weird. I don't like the face at all. And the feet are just kind of bland. So, like, on the one hand with this being my 30 days, like, I'm happy, like, I can definitely see the improvement that I've made, but also, I have a long way to go, because this, still, like, I look at it, and I don't really like it that much, um, and so I, I made a list of things that I need to practice, with, like, heads, hands, poses, proportions, feet, expressions, clothing, everything about girls, and hair, <laughs> so that's the stuff that I'm working on, this is my 30-day progress, obviously like I did make progress and I need to give myself credit there but I'm st it's it's still not great I'm still not very happy with it so I practiced making heads um, yesterday 
and I think these turned out pretty well. Like I'm, I'm very, I'm happy with this one and with this one. Um, those are pretty good heads, and the rest of these are, are fine. Um, so just like practicing this, and today I practice hands more. And good heavens, hands are hard. It's just so bad. But like I think this one turned out okay. I think this is my best one. This one turned out pretty good. Some of these are fine. Like this is fine. That's fine. This is fine. And then some of these are just bad. Like that is just awful. So bad. Or this. Or like these hands. Just stinkers. They're just stinkers. <laughs> so I don't want to like spend too much time just practicing stuff. Because I want drawing to be fun still. So I'm still going to like probably find video games and stuff that I like drawing. And, and draw them and practice stuff occasionally. But I've got a lot to practice on. So, my goal is to keep drawing every single day, keep getting better. Hopefully, the Wolverine that I draw at the 100-day mark is a lot better than this guy. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but I'm running out of space on the sketchbook, so I'll probably go on to... I have th two other sketchbooks like this one, and then I have a bunch of big ones. And so, yeah, that's my 30-day art progress. Um, I just wanted to share it. <sighs> um, and so... I don't really want to know what you think of the comments. <laughs> I guess you could tell me it's good, but I don't know. Like, it just, like, it makes me cringe thinking I'm going to post this because I hate so many of these drawings. This Zuko and those Justice League women and the hands. It's like, a lot of these are just bad. But I want to be transparent. I want to kind of, like show my progress and stuff so i think this is good it'll be good to like look back and be like oh yeah i could draw wolverine way better than that or you know whatever but anyways thanks for watching that's my 30 day art progress hope you thought it was interesting uh hopefully i continue to get better <sighs> but thanks for watching so until next time ciao